La Capella and the gang had did it. They made their final take at big money, and La Capella was walking away with $10,000 to call his own. Now, usually, Capella would send all of his earnings to La Goat, who would then send it back to their parents. But this time, something was telling him to only send half. That means Capella would be sending La Goat $5,000, and he would keep the rest for himself. He didn't know exactly why he was doing it, but so far, he was trusting his gut feeling, and it was all working out for him. That was the good news. The bad news was, Big Frank was officially coming home. Why was this bad news? Well, if you remember from the last episode, Big Frank had heard of the play Kapala and the gang was running, and he definitely wanted in on the play. He wasn't too happy when he found out that the gang wasn't running it anymore, but Big Frank being Big Frank, he demanded that the boys get back on the play and make sure his cut was 70%. The gang had no choice but to side with Big Frank out of fear. A capella wasn't going for it. When news got back to him, the gang had to go back to Big Frank and explain why La Capella wasn't willing to go on with the play. So Big Frank decided to come visit La Capella personally. Big Frank played it cool at first, but La Capella didn't want to hear it. And that's when Big Frank made his first mistake. He decided to threaten La Capella and told him straight up that if he decided not to comply, there would be no more basketball for La Capella. You see, Big Frank had something over La Capella's head and he was willing to make the news public. About five years ago, when Big Frank was really running the streets, you might remember La Capella was one of his greatest henchmen. There was a task that Big Frank sent La Capella on that went left and someone ended up dead. With blood on La Capella's hands, Big Frank devised a plan to get La Capella's name clear. From that point on, La Capella owed Big Frank everything. So now with that information, Big Frank decided to use it against La Capella when he needed it the most. La Capella was in a tough spot for sure. With nothing else to do, La Capella had to comply and listen to the demands of Big Frank. The task was fairly simple. La Capella was to win every game leading up to the city finals, and he knew he could do that no problem. The problem was that when it came down to the actual city finals game, Big Frank wanted La Capella to lose. You see, Big Frank's nephew was the number two shooting guard in the city behind La Capella, and this was Big Frank's graduation present to him, a city finals championship. Big Frank's plan was to get La Capella to win every game that, when it came to the final game, no one would bet against him, and with the odds of him losing being so absurd, Big Frank would walk away with ten times the money he came in with. With La Capella's back against the wall, there wasn't much to do until he thought of a master plan that would turn Big Frank's plan upside down. La Capella remembered the $5,000 he had kept out of his $10,000. He took some of that money and went to buy a gun for protection. He knew what he was about to do would either get him killed or in jail. Either way, he wasn't going down easy. With the rest of the money, he decided to use that for betting. With the help of some local streetwalkers, he put money up for himself in all the city tournament games. He gave the streetwalker $100 and kept the rest. La Capella then decided to partner up with the rest of the game. And the week before the city finals game, while they said they were out collecting bets, they would instead bring in over $30,000 of their own money to bet up against Big Frank's money. The trick was that if Big Frank lost, he would lose everything. And that's what La Capella wanted. He wanted everything that Big Frank had. He wanted the money, the cars, the clothes, and the respect. Not for his personal use, but to finally put Big Frank in his place. There was one thing that La Capella still had to figure out. If he turned on Big Frank, how would he silence Big Frank in the end? Although La Capella had part of this plan figured out, if he didn't get the rest of that plan intact, it could have cost him his life. It's your boy YG. We are back on the NBA 2K23. La Capella, James, my career. Y'all know it's about that time, man. We're getting to the last part of La Capella's high school career, and things are getting real sticky. IRL for La Capella, but I'm sure he's going to find his way out, and you guys got to know, this is the James family legacy that the story has never been told, honestly. So we really about to dive into how... These boys ran the street, and then, you know, you got to go back to the Lacrosse James story. This is actually Lacrosse James' dad. 
So, you know, things play out the way they play out. And it is what it is. So let's stop talking about it. Let's go ahead and be about it. These are the last two games of what the ch the city championship. So we got the semifinals and then the finals game. So I hope you guys are excited. Sit back and relax. Let's stop talking about it. Let's go ahead. Be about it, Poppy. Okay, yes, Adams High yeah. School. Don't come yes. by, babe. We got the colors out here, here today. Somehow, it's a colored man yes. and two colored men uh, have made it to the I city finals. It. I don't know I how it's happening. It. But we're, we're, we're not here for no, them, we're are not. we? We're not here. No, we're not. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. White power. White. We're going to keep it strong. That's right. You know, Swim, none, Sims. None. All of these guys. You know, Sims can pass right. for black. Right. So, well. <laughs> you know, Sims can pass for white. So, we're going to root yeah, for him. Yeah. Not that like a polo monkey. Hey, yo, that's crazy. The haters are in full effect tonight, Chad. So, you know we got to win this game. So, sing it for the one time. Jump off. Get it. Get it. Jump out, get it, oh lord. We jumping right in to it, and we're actually losing this game, chat. And the plan goes out of the window if we actually lose this game. So we cannot do none of that. We gotta win all of these games. And I mean, we pretty much got here. We had the semifinals, but you see, La Capella is actually cold right now. So you know he's been trying to get the team back into the game. It hasn't really been working out. Only scored four points in the first quarter, bro. And then that's sick, right? <laughs> That's sick business, but like Capella, he's a James, and this is the legacy. I'm about to show you guys why. When these boys get down, they get through that rim. You feel me? 20 to 17, we down three. Left that man, anyone, and Twan. Left that man at the free throw line. I like that. 38 to 31, we are still losing, but like I said, we about to turn it up. You know what I mean? YG, go ahead and play that music. Oh, wait. Bang. They giving me too much space, you feel me? Still down by four, we still pushing 16 points right now, getting another any one and one to go. And this is when we really started to kick it up, bro. They let us they let us in too close, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? And right now we tying the game up as we've done before. We got the ankle breaker to pop up. I ain't really seen too many ankle breakers, but again, I'm tacking the rim. And, and for the OGs on the channel, y'all know, that's what that's what the James family gonna do. We're gonna attack that rim. We're gonna get the easy buckets to make sure that when we get this lead, we keep it. We want high percentage shots right here. Look at the board. Little man thought he had some pump fake. Got both of them out they shoes. And now look at the score. The end of this third quarter, the last part of this third end. And, and, and Capella is on a mission, brother. He, he look, it, and it looks good for Big Frank, right? It, it looks like Big Frank. Is rest assured now that like a Pella, he's trying so hard right now to win this game. You know, it's it, it, we got like a we, we got big Frank's attention. We got his trust with this win, bro. End up actually winning by 22 points. Shout out to Adams High School for, for showing up. You know what I mean? Showing up for the La Capella show. But what really matters right now is what's coming up next, and that is the actual City Finals game. Let's get into it. City Finals game. And this is what it all comes down to. You got Big Frank's nephew versus La Capella James, literally the number one and number two shooting guards in California right now. And now the score is four to zero. Big Frank, you know, it's, it's just the first quarter, so Frank ain't tripping. But let's be honest, being the number two shooting guard in the state is no small feat. So Big Frank's nephew actually is a hooper, so Capella gonna actually have to try, but we gotta also make this look convincing. We don't want to take the fall right out the gate, right? But like I said, <laughs> Big Frank's nephew is a dog. That man is a dog right here, getting the steal. The score is 27 to 18 early in this second quarter, getting through that rim. And this is where Big Frank starts to get a little bit too worried, <laughs> cause we all know La Capella's game, and my boy is attacking the rim. He's doing his thing. But well, West is going to come right back attacking it as well. Like I said, he is no slouch. But <laughs> well, we got takeover. Hold on. Bang. Uh -uh. I said, well, we got takeover. Bang. Y'all don't hear me. I said, well, we got takeover. We really go take over. And now I think <laughs> Big Frank is seeing what's really about to go down. Even though it's just the second quarter, right? It's just the first half. Let's not make too many judgments, right? These boys, hold on. <laughs> Pulling up with that yumper. 
We don't want to. We don't want to assume. But I'm assuming that La Capella is not going to take it easy at all. Look at this. Not passing the ball, being a ball hog. And the score is 78 to 68. It's the fourth quarter right now. And like I said, this was really a battle. Like it really wasn't a blowout at all. West Cole hitting the jumper. He's the number two shooting guard in the state for a reason. 86 to 74 right here. Capella with the board, making moves on the other end. Uh, throwing it down, he's tired. He's going for the gusto right here. West getting it back. He loves that little jumper. I'm not mad at it though. But if we look at the time and we fast forward, La Capella is making his statement right now. Big Frank somewhere out there in the stands, human, right? But West, double team, somehow gets that to go. A minute and 14 seconds left. And La Capella is not slowing down. You see the Gatorade symbol. He's trying to get this double-double and actually gets the double-double. 33 points, six boards, and 10 assists. Not only is La Capella about to win this game, but he outscores hey, and embarrasses Big Frank's nephew. And that's not going to look good, Chad. I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode, but it's going to be real crazy. And make sure you guys tune in for that next episode, because trust me, things are about to go down in the city that you've never seen on this channel before. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more NBA 2K content just like this. And I got you guys. But until the next one, man, peace. And that shot might not fall all the time. So the money's got to work on other ways to get his teammates involved and to move that score up. Because this is not, there ain't no I in team, but it is a me. You feel me? Pulling up for that jump. And it's looking good. And that's one thing we 